What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video so today I was excited to do a new video. And the video that I'm gonna do is something very important because well as we all know it's October, the days are getting shorter, the light is less strong than it used to be. Today I want to do a video about winter care for your plants and then especially the plants in Le Cousapan, the inorganic substrate I talk about in a lot of videos but some of these tips may also apply for plants in a soil substrate. So without further ado, let's get into it. The days are getting darker, the days are getting shorter, there is less light in our house, so a lot of plants might start to look a little bit droopy or they start to look less happy than they used to be when it was spring or summer and when there was a lot of sunlight or indirect light inside your home. But now the days are shorter, so that means less light. So the first tip that I would like to tell you is try to move your plants closer to the light. A lot of plants that for me personally are more in the back of my house, I try to move a little bit closer to the windows during these colder and darker months. One thing that is very important to keep in mind when you are gonna do this is that you should not put a plant on a draft. If you have like single clads, you should also be mindful that it's not too cold in the place where you're gonna put your plant. But if you have double glass, then I would definitely say put your plants closer to the windows so it receives more light. Another very important thing during winter time is that we are gonna put our heat on. That means that our room gets a lot of dry air. And what is not good for plants is a lot of dry air around the plant. So a very important thing to do in winter is increase the humidity. Well, how can you do that? Obviously, you can use a humidifier. That is not an important thing, you should definitely put more humidity into your house because when we're gonna turn on our heat, it will decrease the humidity. And some plants, they are really not good with low humidity levels. So I would definitely recommend buying a humidifier or these things you can hang on your, um, on your heat and hopefully that will increase the humidity as well. So a very important thing, increase the humidity inside your house. In summertime, we open our windows a lot. I mean, we are constantly walking from indoors to outdoors we are sitting on our balcony in our gardens with the doors open so that means a lot of airflow inside your house like fresh air in your house but in winter time i mean i do not sit on my balcony a lot um, i do not have a garden but i wouldn't sit in the garden as well so there is just less airflow in your house and that means that when the humidity is high and there's less airflow that can cause some problems with your plants because the little water molecules will stay around your plant and that can cause like root or fungus or other diseases for your plants. So during winter, it's also very important to increase the airflow. How can you do that? You can, for example, turn on a fan. And what I personally do, that's a little bit weird, but I'm gonna show you it right now. I just use this thing to go around in my plant room and cause some airflow. I'm not 100% sure if this actually works, but well, if it doesn't harm, it should be okay. Uh, I wouldn't say an air conditioning because that can get a little bit too cold, but just a fan that will blow around in your, in your house should be fine. And you can also open your windows, but you shouldn't do that when it's like really cold outside because the plants, they do not like to be very cold. So another very important thing to do during winter is fertilize less. In summertime, I fertilize weekly on a weekly basis. But in winter, the plant needs less fertilizer because it grows less. What I do in winter is I fertilize my plants with a weekly fertilizer, but on a monthly basis. So that means that I fertilize, like I dilute the recommended amount of fertilizer and I apply that to my plants, for example, once a month. But that all depends on the plant 
that you are gonna fertilize because there are some plants that for example alocasias they can be kind of bitchy during winter time so they start dropping all of their leaves and they just don't look that happy anymore and these plants i try to leave alone a little bit so i wouldn't say that you should fertilize all your plants but what i personally do i fertilize most of my plants on a monthly basis with a weekly fertilizer and that is something that i can definitely recommend you doing as well so while I am editing my video, I think, oh my god, I accidentally deleted the video that was about watering your plants during winter. So this is something that is also very important. And especially when you're growing your plants in a semi-hydroponic setup, for example in Lekka or Lekka Pan, normally you fill the tray, the outer pot or the cash pot with water. But during winter, I would not recommend filling the tray, the cash pot or the outer pot with water. So what I do during winter is I water them less. So let's say I water the plants maybe once a week, but I only water the substrate. And as you know, Lekka and Lekuzapan, they are both very inorganic area substrates. So when you water the plants, all the water falls through. And what I do is I make sure that they, the substrate, so the leka or the lekuzapan, is not in touch with the water in the tray. So when I water the plant, I remove the water from the tray, the cash pot or the outer pot. So I just water my plants regular like I would do in a soil substrate. So that is the most important thing and the most important tip for my tips about winter care which I accidentally deleted in my editing process so here it is the tip the best tip I can give you water your plants just like a regular plant that is in soil so water it maybe once or, or once a week uh, or once every two weeks and water the substrate and remove the water from the cash pot or the outer pot or the tray and then my last tip for growing your plants and keeping your plants happy in winter and that is that you can consider buying grow lights i mean they are not that costly i mean there is so much to choose from and there are very affordable options which i will also link in the description below but yeah grow lights can really cause a big difference because some plant plants that for example alocasias if you want to keep them happy during winter there is a uh, a few things that you can do that is increase the humidity increase the light just try to leave them alone a little bit but a thing that can really make a difference is grow lights because some of the plants they are especially when you're for example living in europe and in the netherlands it gets really 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 dark and the days are almost over before they even begin because yeah the days are just very short and there is like not a lot of hours of sun on a daily basis. For these moments, I can just say you should consider buying grow lights. And these are basically all the tips that I can give you today. And these tips, they do apply for growing your plants in a semi-hydroponic setup, but they can also apply for growing your plants in a soil substrate. The difference with a soil substrate is that you should also make sure that the soil doesn't stay too wet. With an inorganic airy substrate like Lekusa Pan, it's almost impossible that it stays too wet because it's so airy that all the water falls out when you water it. But for the plants in a soil substrate, I would also say really be mindful what you're watering. Don't underwater, don't overwater, always check your soil. And I would say it's not enough to just put your finger in it. Really check your soil, feel the pot. If it's light, you can water. If it's still heavy, you shouldn't water. People always say, just use the few inches of your finger. But for me, that is a very shitty tip because, well, maybe the top is dry but the inside of the plant is still very wet. So be mindful when you are growing your plants in a soil substrate. So that was it already for today. I would love to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Also let me know how you experience summer with your, uh, or winter with your plants. Are your plants struggling or are your plants happy? Thank you again and I hope to see you again very soon. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more botanical videos in the future and also put those thumbs up.